What is up, my YouTube friends? I have a video showing you how to add guests to OBS with just about every communication software there is. Every single one has a lot of complexity to it and so many things that can go wrong. Today, I'm gonna to show you a solution that completely eliminates the complexity for PC and a whole lot of it for Mac as well, step by step. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. With every communication software that you use in OBS to add guests, you're going to run into problems when someone drops off the call because it'll rearrange the screen. The boxes will resize up and down if there's a change in the user's bandwidth and all of this stuff just messes up any kind of overlay you have. It's an adventure every single time. The solution to this is Restream Studio. You can add up to 10 guests and you never have to worry about audio or layout problems ever. It just works. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Restream.io, so big thanks to them for helping me live my dream. My audience should know that I work with companies like Restream.io because they're working hard to be the best, and the tools I show you will help make your live streams better. So let's jump into OBS and get things all set up. Here in OBS, the first thing we want to do is create a new scene. This is going to be our basic scene. It would have our overlay and any widgets we have and all that kind of stuff in it. But I'm just going to set it up really quick with a simple camera. Now you have to keep in mind that you can't use the same camera that you're going to use in OBS in Restream. So I'm going to use a really old generic webcam and it'll do the trick to at least show you how this is done. So once I have my scene created, I'm going to click sources and go to video capture device. I'm going to call this video capture device webcam and I'm just gonna set it up. We're gonna select it and I'm going to change it to custom and select my resolution. And I'm gonna scroll down there and I wanna select the best microphone I have and that happens to be the one that is on my DSLR. So we're gonna use that one, click OK. Now obviously the framing is totally different because it's a webcam and it's not my DSLR, I can't zoom it or anything. So what I'm going to have to do is crop it. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and drag these edges and you can see they turn green. They let you know that this is a crop. Then I'm going to right click on it, go to transform and I'm going to select fit to screen and this makes sure that my image fits in the screen. Now if I was actually going to go live with this camera I would adjust the colors and all that stuff but you do want to have a separate scene that's kind of up that you can see on the screen while you're setting up your guests. I think that's usually a good idea. So this would be the scene I would use. Now, I would probably have an overlay with widgets and all kind of stuff, and my image in the camera would be a heck of a lot smaller, so it probably wouldn't be very noticeable how actually bad it is. But again, most people probably have much better webcams than this piece of junk too, so there's that. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another scene that is going to house our guests. So I'm going to click the plus under scenes. I'm gonna call this one Restream Studio and I'm gonna click OK. And for this scene, the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna add some audio, my audio in particular. So I'm going to go ahead and just call this one my audio, click OK. And I'm going to select my DSLR microphone and I'm gonna click OK. Next, I wanna add my guest audio. This is audio that's gonna be captured from Restream.io and sent to the output for the live stream. In order to do this, I'm going to click the plus in sources again, and I'm going to go to audio output capture. I'm gonna call this one Restream Audio, click OK, and I'm gonna drop this down and I'm going to select headphones. Why am I selecting headphones? I'm selecting headphones because this is where the audio for my guest is going to play through. So we're going to grab that audio and send it out through the live stream. The beauty of doing it this way is that I'll also be able to be wearing my headphones, so I'll be able to hear and interact with my guests. So I just click OK. Now that we have our audio set up, we need to set up Restream so it's ready to stream. So I'm gonna open my web browser and I'm gonna to go to Restream. And once I'm in there, I'm going to click webcam in the top right, enter live studio, 
And then it's going to ask for our camera. I'm gonna to go to settings because I wanna tell it what camera I want to use. I'm going to select the audio from my DSLR and then I'm going to select my cam link, which is my DSLR. And you can see my audio works and my picture looks pretty good. So we're in good shape here. Now I'm going to go back into OBS and I'm gonna add this screen. So I click the plus under sources and I'm gonna to go to window capture. I'm going to type in restream guests and click OK. And now all I have to do is select the window. If it's not the first one, I just have to find the window and select it. Now, word of note here, if you're using one monitor and you minimize other windows before you open up your OBS, you're not going to be able to see it. This window does have to be up behind the OBS in order to be able to see it. So just keep that in mind. So now that we've captured that screen, all I have to do is crop it. So again, I hold the Alt key and I drag the edges and we're just going to crop this preview window. And we already know that it's going to be the right dimensions for what we're looking for. So once we crop it up, all we have to do is go to right click, transform, and then fit to screen. And there we go. Now we have the exact same window showing up in OBS that we have for our broadcast in Restream. So we're capturing the video. You can see there's no audio activity and that's because it's not going to broadcast my microphone. That's why I added my own microphone. We're only gonna get audio activity when we add a guest. So let me show you how to do that. I flip back over into Restream and I'm going to click this little guest button right here. And here you can see you can add up to 10 guests on your stream. It's really awesome. I'm just gonna click this little double square button to the right. That copies the link to my clipboard. And now I can share this link to anyone I want. And once you have your guests, all you have to do is click this little slider in their window to add them to the stream. And at the top in the right, you can see these two boxes. These change the layout that your guests are situated in. So right now it's three of us and we're listed kind of in portrait. But if I click this layout button, it'll show us all in landscape and fill out the screen a little better. Now you can see also on this layout, you can see the backdrop. And I'll show you how to change that later if you want to. Now if I flip over to OBS, you're going to exactly see this preview screen right here. This is what would be broadcasted live to whoever is watching you. You can also see that the Restream audio is working just fine and I can adjust it with the slider if I need to. Now we're gonna go back into Restream and I have another guest, I'm going to add them. You can see Restream automatically changes the layout in order to handle another person. You don't have to do anything. You can go over into Restream, add a guest, and the layout just takes care of itself. It's really, really awesome. I can go up here to the top right, change the layout button again, and you see it just eliminates the ability to see that background. Very, very nice, and when I flip over to OBS, you're going to be able to see that that is exactly what they are going to see as well. Really nice. You can also see that Restream's audio is picking up all of our guests. It's fantastic. So if I go back over here into Restream, let's say we are having a discussion and I can easily control who is highlighted by clicking this spotlight button. When I click the spotlight button, the rest of the guests show up in the bottom right. And this in the preview window is exactly what we're seeing if I flip back over into OBS. So you can basically control your guests in your live stream by just going into Restream and controlling it. And assuming that your connection is stable, you shouldn't really have to play around too much in OBS to have guests on your screen. OBS is just doing the broadcasting. You can do all of the organization right in Restream. Now here is a really cool feature. Jay has added a desktop share. Now you can share any application that's on your computer, so can your guests, which is a really, really cool feature. So now that I see this is here, all I have to do is I can click Spotlight to add it to the scene. We can have a discussion talking about whatever it is on there. So when I switch the layout and I pop back over here into OBS, you can see that's exactly what we're seeing, what's in the preview window. I can spotlight it so it will appear large and everyone else will appear down at the bottom. You can basically use a screen share as if it was another guest. Really, really awesome. 
I can also remove the screen share anytime I want by clicking the slider to the right. Now I can also remove a guest by clicking the slider to the right and you can see that Restream IO automatically restructures the screen so that it looks correct. If I flip back over to OBS, you can see we're still seeing exactly what's in the preview window. When you change the layout, you're gonna get that landscape. As usual, it doesn't matter how many people are on the screen. It really does work fantastic. I mean, this takes all of the worry out of live streaming with guests. So let's say you don't really like that little preview sticker that's in the top right hand corner. Well, that's okay. You don't have to worry about that. You see what I did here on the right in setup is I switched off all my destinations, which means I'm not streaming from Restream IO on any platforms. And then all I have to do is go up and click the go live button up in the top right. You can see that changes from preview to live just in case you'd rather have that while you're broadcasting your live stream. Now let's see what happens when we're in OBS and we're just interacting on the live stream like we normally would but a guest drops. And there we go. Restream IO restructures the formatting of the screen so that all of the guests that are currently there are still visible. It really does simplify everything. If you were using something like Skype or Zoom and something like that happened, your overlay would just be a complete disaster. You wouldn't even be able to use it. But with Restream IO, everything just adjusts accordingly. It's really fantastic. Now if Michael drops off, you can see that we have two people in. It automatically adjusts on its own as well. I can add Michael back in there and there we go. You can see here when you spotlight someone and I flip over into OBS, we get exactly what's on the preview window. It's really awesome. I love the spotlight feature. It makes it so easy to have a guest speaker on your live stream. It's really cool stuff. Next I want to show you how to add the graphics to your scene. Now I can hide this backdrop and if I wanted to, I could upload a background of my own. If I flip over here into OBS, you can see that the black background is now the background. If we wanted to put the user's name right with their little box, all we have to do is go ahead and slide this participant's name box over and the names they put in when they were signing in are right there. And I can change the color of the backdrop for those names any way I want to. Very, very cool. And I can also put my name in here so that it shows up in one of these boxes as well. All I have to do is type it right here and we'll just change that color. You know me, I usually like blues. So that looks pretty good. That's what's gonna work for me. So now our names are all there. And if we adjust the layout, the name moves with the box. We don't have to do anything. There we go. If we go to portrait layout, all the names move with the boxes. Now let's say I was starting out my stream and I wanted to go live. I would just start on this screen right here. You can see it's the base screen. So this would have your overlay and all of the normal stuff that you have on your live stream. And the beautiful thing about this is I can set up Restream IO while I'm talking to the audience in the background and they don't even know what's going on. Then when I'm ready, I just click Restream and my guests are there and we're ready to go. It's really that simple to set this up and almost nothing can go wrong. Now I want you to take note that every single person who was on this live stream is wearing headphones. And the reason why that is is because they can't hear me without headphones without causing lots of problems for the stream like feedback and looping audio and that sort of stuff. So your guest needs to understand that headphones are an absolute must if they're going to appear on your live stream. And guess what? You're going to have to wear them too. Most of the features in Restream Studio are totally free. So if you want to check it out for yourself, there's a link in the description. If you've ever added a guest with other communication software in OBS, you can no doubt see the advantages of using Restream Studio to add your guests in your live stream. Other big advantages are that the guest does not need to sign up for anything. They click the link on their computer or their phone and they're in. There's no installs, no signups, and no hassle. You can also keep a static link so your regular guests never need to worry about how to get connected. They can use the same link all the time. Maybe you want to forego the complexity of all this stuff altogether and just use Restream Studio to go live. 
I can see why someone would want to, it just works. Here's a video that shows you all of the things you can do with Restream Studio. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.